Hey everyone, Robert Pitts again. Uh, wanted to do another video as I uh, really had a lot of fun with that mystery pack. 100 baseball cards in one pack box. I found that uh, Rite Aid. So I went by and picked up another. This is a little smaller. It's an 80 cards with one pack. And well, let's just dive into it. Um, you know, again, I'm just, this is just fun just getting back into baseball card collecting and uh, if anything, I'm catching up um, from when I stopped collecting, which would have been early 90s to now, and just seeing what I missed in the middle. Um, so I kind of put these cards in order just so I can flip through them a little easier. Uh, so here we go, and right off the top, uh, Fernando Valenzuela, pitcher on the Dodgers. Uh, just uh, awesome card right off the top. Uh, let's see... Yeah, Mark McGuire, MVP, Upper Deck. Uh, I knew him from the Athletics, uh, but I knew later on he would join the Cardinals uh, towards the end of his career. But uh, for me, Mark McGuire will always be a big slugger, and I, I know he got caught up in the steroid scandal after he left. But uh, he's still one of the Bash brothers to me. Uh, another MVP from Upper Deck. Uh, this is uh, Randall White. I apologize, I kind of just experiment how I'm making these videos. So this one I'm not sure about myself. Um, well, I guess what I'm seeing is a, a classic player, a major league debut from it's uh, 1968. This is uh, Carlos May and got some. Fifth best five best seasons all the way to uh, sixty nine up all the way up to nineteen seventy three. I wasn't even born yet, um, so this is some baseball history for me. But just a, a cool card, and I was trying to think where this came from. Uh, who made it? Uh, yeah, the Ted Williams Card Company. And I've never I'm not familiar with them. Oh, I'm no Ted Williams is a baseball player, but I'm not familiar with the card company. So I was interesting again piece of baseball history for me uh, let's see not sure if we can pick it up here and I'm sorry this is bad lighting in this room but like I said I just keep experimenting but that's Todd Dunn card it's got some emboss on the print which is really cool and I'm honestly not sure who the player is but I just like the card and the design uh, Willie Mo Pena got some uh, foil print, awesome gloss card upper deck. An OPC or how I like to say the Canadian Tops Card Company um, draft pick, and Al Shirley. Uh, it's really cool. It has his high school career on the back, so he must have really been someone they were really looking forward to seeing. I don't recall the name, so. Um, sure he had a good start but I'm not sure who he is myself uh, Don Russ 1989 again this is my heyday of card collecting uh, who do we got here oops I flipped that back around and here are Omar Vizquel uh, from the Cleveland Indians it's a scored card and I'm just gonna Breeze through some of these. These are Don Russ 1991's Manny Trio, I recall. He probably was a, a common card I found a lot of. So here's a Tops. Here's a classic card, or at least classic for me. Uh, oh gosh, I think that's in the 60s. That's uh, 1963. Uh, not sure if you can see there. Back up in the light here. But, yeah, 1963, but a Burt Hooten of uh, the Dodgers. Really cool. I love these classic cards. Cecil Fielder, Detroit Tigers. Love this card. Gloss and love the animation of the bat. It's a pinnacle card. Some of his stats. Really awesome. Big slugger. And let's see. From the Brewers, nice uh, gold or silver Foil embossed on Russ. Uh, was that Bill Wegman? Again, of the Brewers. 
There's an Astros. Not sure who he was, though. Robbie Wine. That's a 19... 1988 Tops, yeah, 1988 Tops Company. Uh, again, that classic, classic card company. Oh man, just really bad lighting. I'm sorry, guys, but again, just having fun making these videos. So, speaking of the Bash Brothers, here's Jose Canseco, also Oakland Athletics, 1989, left towards to the Devil Rays towards the end. But here's an MVP. And yeah, Athletics, they joined, I, re I remember he joined the Rangers for a little bit. Red Sox, Athletics again, and Blue Jays, and then Tampa Ray. Rays, who are in the World Series, going on, or will be going on to the World Series this year. But not with Jose Canseco. Uh, let's see, classic cards, or at least for me, 1992. Just going to kind of breeze through these. There's a Top Stadium Club card, Arthur Rhodes, and let's see, this kind of Candy Maldonado, or if I recall, he was on the Dodgers, and he joined the Giants, which I'm sure was uh, kind of like a, being a traitor, Giants and Dodgers being natural enemies here in uh, California. Love those series. Sometimes get out of hand, and I'm just going to... Keep going through a Matt Clement, some silver emboss. Love some of the designs of these cards. Here's this Top Stadium Club again. Some foil emboss. Jared Washburn, Angels. Again, some more foil. Pedro Estacio. A lot of interesting cards and design. This one was interesting, so it's not an emboss, it's 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 cardstock, but it's tops. Um, Franklin Gutierrez is the card, but just really interesting portrait and design and washing out of the background, very minimalistic, kind of a really classic baseball card look. Uh, this is another one. To me, it feels like a business card, and it's not glossy, it's, it's cardstock. But just a classic, classy design here. And Carlos Delgado of the uh, Blue Jays at the time. But yeah, really cool designs. I mean, card collection just boomed. And it's probably just so hard to collect anything, get full sets, because there's just so many different kinds these days. That's a glossy card there. Twins, to, uh, just some more foil. Awesome. On the on the field print photo action. Here's a leaf or the Canadian Don Ross foil print up at the top. And who was that? Lloyd McCl McClendon of the Pirates. Just more foil leaf print here. Season highlights. So he was a. Uh, uh, Texas Rangers player Rafael Palmiero. Uh, this is when he hit the 500 home run marker for him. Uh, followed the Rangers a little bit at that time, so he's one of my cards I've I've got collections of. Uh, back when Nolan Ryan was on the team. And let's see, gonna go through some of these. There's a fl uh, Fleer from 1991 or 1989. I'm sorry. 1989, Harold Baines of the ex, uh, White Sox, sorry, White Sox, remember him, here's San Francisco Giants player, Ernest uh, Riles, 1989 again, and just some more 1989, 1990 score, oh yeah, Don Ross, 1988, and they're Diamond King prints, paintings that turned into cards. These, these are pretty cool. That's a Kurt Stillwell of the Royals. Here's another one right off the bat. Uh, New York Mets, Dave Madigan. Rated rookie, Derek May. Which is cool because there's also Derek May, Detroit Techno. Um, Godfather. Kurt Gibson, Los Angeles Dodgers. That's an awesome card to get. Big slugger in the day. 
another Astros I'm not familiar with, Mark Davidson. But always excited to get an Astros player. And let's see, let's just keep going. Uh, Dwight Smith of the Cubs. This a player to watch for at the time. Keep going. Darren Lewis of the uh, San Francisco Giants. Uh, Mike Felder, also of the Giants. That's a cool leaf card. All right, here again towards the end here. Raul Mondesi. It's got some copper foil, which is really cool. Here's another classic looking card. I mean, it's uh, it's modern. It's cardstock, not uh, glossy. But uh, yeah, 2009, I think, is when this card is. But this is uh, Jacoby L. Ellsbury, the Red Sox, believed to further be the first Native American of Navajo descent to reach the majors uh, in 2005, which is just incredible uh, and, and wrong <laughs> as Native Americans, or I'm sorry, African Americans have been in baseball for so much longer. But uh, this, this is cool baseball history right here. Uh, let's see, let me just keep going. And I got a couple of these arched cards. Never seen these before. Gold Medallion Edition with some foil print. This is from Fleer Ultra. Wally Joyner of the Padres. Here's some cards, modern cards, made to look classic. Carlos Lee, the Houston Astros. I just love that glare. But, you know, the back two, the, this is what old classic baseball cards used to look like which is kind of cool. I'm not sure why it's not zooming in. There we go. Much better look there. Now another modern, classic-looking baseball card, Derek Lee of the Marlins. Again, a couple more of these gold medallions. These are cool. I've never seen baseball cards cut like that. And there's a classic-look team photo of the Chicago Cubs. Topps Heritage Series. And a gold medallion, which unfortunately I don't know too much about the players, but just the design is just so cool. Here's another different design look portrait with an action black and white on the side, and another classic background. You know, these little cartoony drawings was was standard back in the 50s, 60s. Again, the heyday of uh, of baseball. Another gold medallion. Yeah, I guess I never showed what the back looks like. Another classic looking card here, Topps Heritage rookie card. And that is uh, Melky Cabrera. And that gets us to the pack. So I'm going to stop the uh, video here. This is part one, and then we'll finish up with part two with the unopened pack. See you soon.